Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to start our first session of the tutorial slash very beginner if you never used this slicer before. An intro to this software called Cheat2Box Pro. I'll assure you, this is one of the most recommended PC software that I have seen. Okay, this is what you get when you open the Cheat2Box Pro. This is the newest version. There are the basic settings, very simple and easy to learn. Let's start with the caption bar and the menu bar. And this is where you can find the shortcut keys for opening projects and the saving projects. Then undo and the redo button. The file name will be placed in the middle. Logins, screenshot, maximize and minimize window and close button are on the right. Here's the menu bar and this is where you to manually change things like start, prepare, repair, support, analyze or measure and setting or help. And each menu key comes with a submenu. On the left side shows the select, move, rotate, scale and the mirror options. If you click it, it brings up the submenu. I'll explain these key functions later. Alright, on the right side of the window shows the file list and the slice list. Add, select, reverse select, automatic coloring, display size. Delete files are provided in this file section. Also, in the slice part comes with add, delete, import, export, and the reset buttons. When you need to slice your model, you're going to use this zone. As this is a shortcut for you to set the required printing parameter easily. There's a couple of strategies that all work well for model slice. And this is your slider for going up and down the model. Here's another preview with the X and the Y button, which means you can see the cross section of the model horizontally or vertically. Display window. Here, you can individually arrange your models by clicking and dragging them on this panel. Or if you want to operate on each side of the model, click the cube here. Global coordinates at the lower left corner. And here's the two tips. Usually show the shortcut keys list. You can also click the arrow here to fold this section if you want to maximize the display window. The bottom menu displays the list of your available printing machines. You can easily add or delete your machines by clicking the column. Hide platform is also another option you can use. Here, you have the ability to check your models in four different ways, like the left side view, the top side view, the front view, and the main view. Operate on any of the small windows, the other three will synchronize performance. Here, on the right side shows your model's info, like how many vertex does your models have, triangles, supports volume, and the price, etc. Or point your model here will show your model's XYZ coordinates info as well. Okay, let's talk about specific functions of the left side toolbar. Obviously, select button can help you to operate your models a lot easier by using line, curve, rectangle, polygon, freeform options to frame your models. And one key operations for select or or cancel or, which is awesome. To move a model, you can individually rearrange your models by clicking and dragging them around on the plate here. Or if you want to auto arrange, you can auto arrange along the center, or manually move your models, or reset. Here, you also have the ability to rotate your models around by clicking this button. Double click the model, it also brings up the rotate rings. Or point the menu here, you can put in values, which is really cool. You can also rescale your models. You can either go on X, Y, Z axis and lock the ratio if you prefer your model in an original form. Or you want to choose not have the axis locked so you can make the model in your own way. That is totally up to you. Here, if you want to mirror your models, you can very easily to mirror your model if you want a left or right version of a particular model that you print. You can choose to keep the original model if you want. So, this is all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Cheat2Box Pro runs on Mac and PC, and we are still updating new functions, waiting for our next section of the tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next time!